This episode is presented by Housebroken, joining Animation Domination Monday at 9 p.m. on Fox. In a world where video games are constantly reheated like day-old Chinese food, experience the sequel that Nintendo denied you for two decades for some reason, when they cut out the middleman in their fictional dogfights and just let you shoot them yourself. With a camera, you sicko! New Pokemon Snap! Explore a game long forgotten by Nintendo, but definitely not by Pokemon people, that was basically a rail shooter except instead of murder, you shoot art where you're slowly carted through different environments like you're riding on It's a Small World at Disneyland, watching Pokemon do their thing, undisturbed by the pesky humans always trying to stuff them into tiny balls. As long as you don't count tossing a million apples in their face and playing the world's most annoying ice cream truck song while they're sleeping. In a sequel that gives the original a facelift and a bunch of new Pokemon to snap, but does basically nothing to change the core loop of doing a little amusement park ride and getting some photos in the gift shop at the end. Teleport into the many lush biomes of the Lentil region, the Lost Legume continent, as the unpaid kid intern of yet another kooky professor who loves to surround himself with children, who will seal you into a technobathosphere and then drop you in a volcano, so you can take pictures for his Instagram while he observes from a safe distance, and uncover the secrets of the shiny Pokemon from those hologram cards lunatics pay $300 for, all from the comfort of a slow-moving force-fielded toddler cradle. In a narrative that contributes about as much to the Pokemon Snap experience as the volleyball does to DOA Beach Volleyball. Snap into the mechanics of Pokemon TMZ, a game that takes the concept of the photo mode to an almost unheard of level, where you'll try to frame your Pokemon subjects to get the best composition, bamming the shutter button like you're 360 no scoping these Beedoofs, all while harassing them with an endless stream of balls, fruits, and noises in hopes of getting that perfect shot. Then get back to the professor and watch him rip your carefully composed masterpieces to shreds. Haven't you ever heard of the rule of thirds, asshole? Then do it all over again to level up and unlock slightly different routes as you grind out photos of different poses from the same handful of animation loops until the game decides you've had enough fun and allows you to move on in a straightforward mechanic that was probably designed to be relaxing, but is an aspect of video games that has died for you a long time ago. You know, they wouldn't have put in a leaderboard if they didn't want me to be the very best that no one ever was! So strap on that camera and get ready to take a million pictures of Magikarp in a return to childhood that goes exactly as far as the original and no further and relies on your love of Pokemon to make you ignore the fact that it's otherwise a very short on rails experience based heavily on repetition. As a bonus, every once in a while you can suddenly feel 1,000 years old. <laughs> Just gotta catch them all! Starring Ash Shoot'em Professor Epstein didn't kill himself That rat attack kid, but for photos Diversity Hire Avatar of your lost youth And Digimon Pocket Fans Would a big open world safari be incredible? Of course! Will the company that sold you the same exact Pokemon game for 20 years ever give you that? <laughs> of course not! This episode is presented by Housebroken, joining Animation Domination Monday at 9 p.m. on Fox, a new breed of comedy. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. Mommy has milk in those jeans. You're human, and I'm a monster. It's like Freaky Friday, but on a Tuesday, though. I am thou. Thou art me. We're a happy family. Don't think about it too hard. The writers didn't either.